If you have a TP-Link router, you can use it as an access point to increase the range of your existing network. In this video, I'll show you two easy methods to configure a TP-Link router as an access point. Method 1. Using Inbuilt Operation Mode First of all, connect a computer to your TP-Link router using an Ethernet cable. Then, log into your router's web interface. Go to the Advanced tab. If your TP-Link router has this operation mode option, then you can easily switch its working mode from router to access point. To do that, just select the access point mode and click save. Give it a minute to reboot and reload its configuration. After reboot, you will be kicked out of the admin panel. That's normal. You can log in again. After login, you can set your access point SSID and password. The TP-Link router is now working in access point mode. As you can see, only fewer options on the left panel because some functions like parental control, access control, QoS, bandwidth control, NAT forwarding, VPN etc. don't work in access point mode. Now you need to connect the TP-Link router to your main router via an Ethernet cable. So plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the LAN port of your main router and the other end into the WAN port of the TP-Link router. It also has internet access via the main router. You can now connect any device to the access point using an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. Method 2. Without Operation Mode If there is no Operation Mode menu on the web interface of your TP-Link router, then you can do the setup by using this second method. So please follow the steps. Go to the Network menu and click on LAN. You need to change the IP address of your TP-Link router to an IP address on the same segment of the main router. Also make sure the IP address is outside the main router's DHCP range. For example, if your main router's IP is 192.168.0.1, you can set the IP of the TP-Link router to 192.168.0.2. After changing the LAN IP address, the router will reboot. After the reboot, you will be able to log into the TP-Link router with the new IP address. I'll recommend you disable the DHCP server. You only need one DHCP server in a network and your main router should do that job. Next, use an Ethernet cable to connect the main router to your TP-Link router through their LAN ports. You can use any LAN ports on both routers. All other LAN ports on your TP-Link router can grant devices internet access. For example, if your TP-Link router has four LAN ports, you can use one LAN port to connect to the main router and the rest three LAN ports can be used to connect your PC or laptops for internet access. After the setup, remember to reboot the router to make the changes take effect. Any device can now access the internet through Ethernet or Wi-Fi. So guys, this is how you can set up a TP-Link router as a wireless access point.